Good Good Hold on. Yeah. 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 You okay? Steven, how's it uh, feel going in as a number one quarterback? Steven. Uh, it's a uh, humbling experience, number one. Uh, it's truly a time for just, you know, the offense to show what we got. Uh, for me personally, it's just a time to go out and show what I can do. You know, it's going to be a good game. Both teams are really good. Both teams are going in blind with the new coordinators. So it's just a time to have fun. Steven, is it hard not to think of this game as an audition for bigger things and just keeping it, instead just keeping it locked in on this, on this game and what you have to do? On yeah, that, you know, that's what I'm just trying to do, really, just uh, keep it, you know, in the basis of game, the game planning for this team. Uh, we did a good job with the coaching staff. They did a uh, really good job understanding what they want to get done, and we just got to execute it, and that's all I'm going to do. Is there extra motivation for this game being on national TV and after all the swirl that's gone on and everyone saying bad things about the U nationwide? Is there extra motivation for you guys? Uh, it's really just a time for us to show, you know, that we bounce back and, and, you know, a lot of things outside of this program doesn't really affect us inside. And, you know, we just got to come together and work together and beat the team. How much is Ja'Cory going to coach you this, this week? Uh, Ja'Cory's been helping me out all the time, just, you know, um, going over the reads in the, in the uh, quarterback room and, and just understanding our protections and stuff like that. So just having him there always helps me out, and uh, just like last year. So. Do you feel like you're ready? Oh, yeah, I, I know I'm ready, and I know this offense is ready. We've been practicing extremely hard, and uh, the coaches have a great game plan. And, you know, we're ready to, to go out there and execute. There's no real pressure on you because you started four games this last season. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's any pressure. It's just going out there and executing the game plan. Um, just like I said, you know, it's not the first time I got a chance to play. It's not the first time on a national uh, televised game. So it's nothing new. It's just, you know, going out there and executing. You said no extra pressure, but obviously you're going to be having a defense that's missing a lot of people. I mean, do you feel some pressure like you guys are going to need to score probably a lot of points, do you think? Or? Yeah, you know, that's what our goal is, to score points a lot. And, uh, you know, they're going to be gunning for us. And, and, you know, we beat them last year, and I know they're going to have a little, you know, revenge on us. So we just got to go out there and stay calm, stay poised, and, and just execute. Your first start was a win over them. Does that sort of give you a little something extra going into this one, knowing that uh, you've already beaten this team once? Yeah, I mean, it's just really good for headlines. That's all it is. You know, it's two completely brand new teams going against each other and uh, completely new coordinators, and we're both going in there blind. So we just got to go out there and execute our game plan and execute our offense. Do you feel like a win here makes a big statement to the nation being on national TV? Uh, definitely, especially it being national televised and, you know, being in a big ACC game away. You know, it's a perfect chance to see where this Miami team is going to be and everything that Coach Gold has been preaching, you know, toughness, conditioning, and unity and stuff like that. You know, it, it, um, it will help us see where we are. Steve, uh, Coach Golden said yesterday that he was going to reopen the quarterback competition after this game because he said once you found out about the ineligible, in, ineligible players, um, it, it wasn't the same really for Jacory. He didn't get as many, you know, reps and stuff. How, how do you feel about it? Even if you, you know, have a have a good game, it, it being reopened. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I haven't really gave it much consideration or anything like that. It's not the final position. No real quarterback depth chart has been released yet. So every day is still, you know, the same thing how it was in the spring as it is in the summer, just going out there and competing. And the competition, like I said before, has just helped me and Ja'Cory in so many ways, um, our motivation, um, confidence, every every uh, aspect of quarterback that you could think of. The motivation helped us both. And, you know, that's the only best way to put it, and just to execute this game plan and come back and, and see what's happening. How have you changed since last year? In what ways have you changed a lot in the huddle, off the field, in your preparation? Uh, just commanding the huddle. Uh, Coach Golden and Coach uh, Fish have always said, you know, just command the huddle, command the offense, and, and make sure everybody's on the same page. And that's really the quarterback's job because a lot of things can happen on the field. You might have a couple of uh, different plays that you want to run, and you just got to, you know, take co uh, complete command of it. When you say take command, can you explain a little more? Like, what did you do last year where you've improved in that way in the huddle? Uh, just more leadership skills. Last year, I let a lot of things go by because, uh, you know, as a freshman, I was just trying to get used to the game speed as long as, um, as well as uh, execute the play. But this year, you know, the leadership is really under my belt. And whenever we speak to quarterbacks as a group, a lot of people listen. And, you know, that's how it's supposed to be. And, and, and we, we got to that point. Steven, how, how unfair is it that the nation is saying so many bad things about a program where the vast majority of players had nothing to do with anything? Right. Uh, you know, we just can't we can't let the outside, you know, interfere with what we got to do inside this building. So uh, whatever people say outside is what people say. Uh, we know what we got to do on the field. We got to execute, and we just got to bounce back from everything that everyone's saying. Steve, there were a lot of interceptions last year, and I and I 
we're, we're told you guys did great in fall camp with very few. How has that changed, and, and how, how do you carry that over to the game? Uh, good question. It's just, you know, going out there, understanding the offense, understanding what your reads are, and never forcing the ball, always making smart decisions. Uh, me and Jacoby both really emphasized that throughout the spring and, and uh, throughout the summer practices. And uh, Coach Fish has installed a great offense for us to, to make changes that we feel would be the best for us. And just making sure that we can always get the right play at the right time and never be uh, feeling like you're rushed or feel that you're um, under pressure or anything like that. Just always understanding the offense. How much did you guys miss not having Travis on the field? Uh, you can never really replace Travis with his explosiveness. But we have guys like Philip Dorsett and Alan Hearns who stepped up, and especially Tommy Streeter, who stepped up um, you know, tremendously to fill in his spot. And, you know, I'm not worried about that. They're going to have a great game, and I'm, I'm really excited for actually all three of them. Have any of the younger guys asked you what it's like when you're actually, you know, guys maybe who have not played in college before, what's it like when you step out on the field, especially in the away game, the atmosphere? Uh, yeah, the atmosphere is completely different. You know, you can't hear what the person next to you is saying, so you just got to uh, always stay calm and always stay poised, especially being the quarterback where everybody's going to try to get in your head. You just got to keep a calm head. Just make sure that you're always calling the right things, always seeing the right things, and be a second coach on the field and uh, help the young guys out especially. What does it mean to you to be to have this opportunity to lead the team out? I mean, you haven't known all this time if you were going to get to do that. Now that you are going to be coming out of the tunnel as a starting quarterback for the first game this year, what does that mean to you? It's a, Like I said before, it's a humbling experience, man. Just having the opportunity to, to start for the University of Miami just brings back a lot of good memories from past years. And as well, just, you know, going to, having the opportunity to play on a national base uh, playing field and, and uh, the coaching staff, they put a lot of trust in me. And uh, I know that, you know, we just got to execute our game plan. Yeah. That Maryland game last year, can you kind of describe what was going through your mind after that game and what that game did for you confidence-wise as far as believing that you could lead the team back and you could, you know, win from levels? It's kind of like, you know, when – when you're young, you always think the last minute drive. And, you know, last minute drive, I was kind of actually a little nervous. I couldn't show my teammates that, but, you know, I just wanted to go out there and get a ball to the playmakers. And so after that drive, you know, we scored and we won. It, it just makes you feel like, you know, I could do this. You know, I'm a freshman, no matter, you know, what it is, I, I, could, I could play here in college. And just having that uh, feeling behind you going into the, to the next couple of games and, and leading into spring as well as summer practices just helps you um, from a confidence standpoint. It brings you confidence up and, and just getting ready for this game. Have you heard from Hank lately? Yeah, we talked on Twitter a couple of times. Uh, <laughs> Hank's doing a good job. I know that uh, he's really busy with, you know, the uh, Redskins and everything, but, you know, we just stay in contact once in a while. He might have some good memories of that game. Yeah. He's, he's Is he planning to be there? Uh, I have no idea. I don't know about his arrangements to the game. But, uh, Steven, you talked about working on your command and leadership mm -hmm. in terms of on the field over the summer and spring, like a technical standpoint, what kind of things did you really focus on to try to, to, try to get better? Um, just, you know, understanding the offense, uh, that was the first thing, just making sure I knew everything that was going to happen with the running backs and the receivers and the protection-wise. And, and then commanding the huddle, just going in the huddle, make sure all eyes on you, everybody's listening and paying attention to the call. And just when you're on the field, making the right checks and making the right reads and, and making sure that whenever we speak as a quarterback unit, that everybody's listening. In those, those four games, the four or five games last year, you got to start. However, this would have happened this year in terms of getting this start. How, how uh, beneficial has it been for you just to know that you've gone through it before? Uh, it, it, it feels really good not having you know wet feet going into this game. You know, first time playing, um, you'll be you'll be a little bit nervous, but having a couple games on your belt, you understand the atmosphere, you understand what the um, pressure is going to be like, and you understand what the team is going to try to do to you. So just having that um, game experience is something you can't really replace with um, practice. You remember what that was like? Yeah. First? It, it was uh, it just the away games, you know, you can't hear anything. I really like away games because everybody's against you, and, you know, it's just the offense out there, and we just got to execute. Hey, can Appreciate you it. talk about Maryland defense, what you're going to be facing, who looks, you know, good? Um, number six was always a good play. They moved him around, and um, he, he made a lot of tackles last year, so we uh, make sure that we handle him. And just, you know, making sure that everybody knows what the defense they're going to be running, um, different looks, different fronts, and everything like that. And, uh, I mean, yeah, that's really it. Steve, we heard so much about uh, the two freshmen who came in, Rayshon and Phillip, mm -hmm. at receiver. What, why are they in the mix? Why do you think they've sort of gotten you know, on the two deep? They really separated themselves, just not um, – being called freshmen, I mean, you know, uh, 
coming in, they made sure that they understood the offense and made sure that we went over the offense with them. And, you know, they made big-time plays and not just a freshman like, oh, that's a freshman. No, like, well, he made a play against a senior. So they really uh, stood out at the receiving group, and uh, they're reliable. They're both very reliable. They both uh, understand the offense, know where to line up, and they know what we're trying to do, whether it be a decoy route or then the main man. What's maybe each of them individually, what's one of their strengths? Rayshon, you had to get one. Rayshon's of... very physical. Rayshon, he likes to go in there and block, and, and he, he has great hands. And Philip does say he's extremely fast and quick. Uh, nothing like, uh, something like Travis Benjamin, and you know, he's, he's doing a great job just getting the ball and going. What do you think of the receiving core as a whole? I mean, last year, obviously, Hank was the top mm -hmm. target for everybody, but what do you think about the guys and with the ball being spread out a little more? Yeah, everybody has the opportunity to make a big play. Uh, no matter if you're playing X, Y, Z, H, Q, W, whatever it is, uh, everybody has the opportunity to make a big play. And uh, just uh, last year, it was mostly all about Hank and, and getting the ball to Hank. But this year, the, the offense is spread out, and everybody can have a chance to make a big play. And they uh, responded very well. Hey, you, if you do win this game, I was asking guys, what, what kind of statement does that make, knowing there's so many guys missing in this game? Mm -hmm. That you have talent, man. We, we've always had talent. We always had depth, no matter what the situation is. And, and whoever's down is down, and we just got to replace them. And whoever's replacing them is going to step up and make a big play. And, you know, that's what Coach Gold has been preaching in the practices, no matter, even before the NCAA came in. Mm -hmm. uh, we practiced stuff like that, and, and it's just their time to make a big play. How are their spirits? Jacory, Travis, Very Marcus? Energetic. Very energetic. You can't. You can never even tell the difference. You know they're doing everything that they can to help the team out win, and, and you know it's all the team effort. Okay. Steve, Alan Hearns, obviously, mm -hmm. very close with him and stuff. And just your expectations for him and this season for him, and after what he went through last year. I think Alan's gonna have a very big year. Um, me and him always talking, and we always talk that this is his time, this is his year. You know, last year was kind of a wasted year for him, and he didn't really get much opportunity to play. But this year, you know, he's in the mix. He's doing a great job blocking, doing a great job uh, running and catching the ball and always finishing. So Allen will be a, uh, a definitely a big part of our offense this year, and he's doing a great job. Your running backs, how much are they going to help you this game? I asked that. I mean, Lamar and Mike, well, you know, how important are they this game especially? Definitely this game. Um, we like to run the ball a lot, and we like to pass the ball. And, and having a good play-action game and a good running game kind of help each other out and, and help in terms of opening up the play-action and opening up the running game. So I know that Smash and Dash are going to do a really good job. All right, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.